welcome to the Totally Mini panel, because guess what? It's Mini's 90th too, right? Yes! <laughs> okay, well, this next panel is all about Mini because it's Mini's turn to step into the spotlight. And once again, I am Star Wars actress Ashley Eckstein and founder of Her Universe, and I am a lifelong Minnie Mouse fan. Um, this picture actually up on the screen is of me and my mom in front of the castle at Walt Disney World. And you can't see, but I'm actually holding a little Minnie Mouse doll in my hand. So lifelong Minnie Mouse fan. And I'm up here with two fellow lifelong Minnie Mouse fans, Fabiola Garza and Diana Brost. One more round of applause for our fabulous panelists today. Hey everyone, I'm Fabiola Garza. I'm a Disney artist. Um, my title is character artist and I work at Disney Parks, Experiences, and Consumer Products. I get to work with Minnie almost every day. I draw her all the time and when I was little, I clearly couldn't get enough of her. That's me in the middle. <laughs> awesome, hey guys, I'm Diana Brost. Um, I just want to say to Fabiola that I love that she figured out how to get six mini mouses into one outfit. It's <laughs> very committed. <laughs> There's never too much mini mouse, right? Yeah. So uh, in this picture, I'm the girl in the red shorts waiting to meet Mickey Mouse for the very first time. Uh, and I love that I was actually a Disney bounding before it was a thing, right? <laughs> Um, so I love, love Mickey Mouse, and uh, I actually had a really hard time finding a picture of myself with Minnie Mouse, but then I was looking closer at this one, and you can see that she's actually on the back of my sweatshirt right there. I think you started the bounding trend, Diana. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> okay, so when we uh, first found out that we were all gonna be on this panel together, um, we actually jumped on the phone for a brainstorm, and it was actually really challenging, because we were like, how are we gonna cram 90 years of fabulousness into 30 minutes? And um, so we started with literally a, a blank slate, and it was really overwhelming, uh, until Diana found this article, which really kicked things off. So you wanna show it? Yeah. So we definitely went to the archives and we started digging around for all of our mini, you know, articles and research. And we found this one and it was really good. And there's this passage that uh, just jumped out at us. And we want to share that with you guys today. It says, I'll bet that if anyone tried to put together a Minnie Mouse retrospective using clips from all the Disney cartoons ever made, the movie would take barely five minutes and would amount to a little more than a fashion show. <laughs> yes. So once we read that, we knew that we had to prove this theory wrong. And we had to do right by Minnie, right? Yeah, we said defend her yes, honor. <laughs> yes. So for this panel, we're going, right? Oh, the cute little mini, she didn't like it. Yeah, no, she did it. Totally <laughs> awkward. Thing. It's so mean. <laughs> so we're going to go through nine reasons why we totally love Minnie. So we were gonna do 90, right? Yeah, we're gonna we we do, do 90, but we don't have enough time to so <laughs> do 90. So, yeah. One per decade. But reason number nine is she's totally talented. So Diana, why don't you talk us through uh, this, this reason number nine? Okay, so we wanted to start from the beginning. Uh, 90 years ago, today was the first time that anyone ever saw Minnie Mouse on screen uh, in Steamboat Willie. So we wanted to take a look at the script just to see how she was described. And it's really cute, you know. Um, she was described, she's in a hurry. She is holding a ukulele in one hand and a roll of music in the other hand. She's wearing a skirt and a goofy little hat with a flower in it. Um, so that was really cute. And then we started watching Steamboat Willie, you know, a bunch of times. And something kind of uh, came to mind. It was a realization that she was actually the one who was bringing music to the first cartoon with music. Um, and it was awesome because without her, there wouldn't really be much of a show at all. So we, uh, one thing that's kind of cool is when she actually was seen on screen in the bottom right here, um, or left, uh, she was holding an accordion instead of a ukulele. So that's a fun little change that happened. Um, so we started watching more shorts, all of her early shorts, and we noticed that she definitely is a musician. So we wanted to put something together for you guys just to show you how versatile she is. All right, let's watch this clip. I'm not afraid. Listen. <laughs> Thank you. 
literally a musical prodigy. <laughs> yeah. So reason number eight, she's totally patriotic. Now, Fabiola, Minnie Mouse, um, you know, was always there supporting the troops and always there to uh, lend a helping hand. So you want to tell us more about that? Sure. So Minnie was a total trooper when the United States joined the war effort during World War II. She mostly took a role as a nurse, and it's most notably shown in the short First Aiders, in which she practiced her nursing skills on Pluto and Figaro. And there was also a unit patch with her image, and it was taken into battle, and it was to boost the morale of troops. So I think that's pretty cool that these big tough men wore mini and loved wearing mini, you know? Out that's in really cool. I, I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, so it's pretty cool. I love that. There's so, also yeah. this like, crazy educational short uh, that she was in that um, encouraged people to recycle their grease to make it into explosives. Yes, it's very educational, yeah. uh. slightly disturbing. Um, <laughs> but yeah, she was very committed to the cause, so yes. go Minnie. <laughs> All right, reason number seven. She totally loves animals. So did you know that Minnie fostered and adopted many, many pets? So uh, Pluto was actually first Minnie's. Um, his name was Rover, and it was in Minnie's first solo film, Pluto Sweater. She also had a little dog named Fifi, and she actually ends up falling in love with Pluto in the short Puppy Love, and they end up having lots of puppies. <laughs> I think you call them uh, quintuplets. <laughs> quintuplets. Five of them. Um, uh, also, uh, Minnie Mouse has a black and white kitten named Figaro who looks remarkably like the Figaro from Pinocchio. <laughs> she also has a songbird named Frankie. So Figaro and Frankie actually were the stars of one of Minnie's first uh, solo shorts as well. So let's take a peek. And I thought I'd lost my little angel. Oh, I'm so happy I could cry. <laughs> Doesn't Minnie have the best heart? Seriously. She does. She's adorable. <laughs> okay, now Fabiola, tell us about this adorable merchandise that we're looking at. Well, the thing is, I, I might have drawn it. <laughs> I love it. It, it was um, a program geared towards tweens, and it's actually now available in the parks as we speak. <laughs> Super cute. Okay, reason number six. She is totally a multiple homeowner. <laughs> multiple homeowner. So, Diana, talk to us about this awesome fact. Isn't that so cool? So like in all of her uh, shorts, she always has her own home. So that's super independent and awesome. But we started thinking about it. She doesn't just have one home. She has homes all around the world. And uh, they're amazing because the real estate is like super expensive. <laughs> she has her homes. Um, so on the left there, we have her uh, adorable country home in Disneyland. And on the right is uh, Tokyo. So it's a different interpretation of her home. Uh, but she has one more home as well, and it's actually a business. She's totally a small business owner. Um, this one is, uh, as the story goes, it's her childhood home. And it's called Sweetheart Confectionery. It's uh, Shanghai Disneyland. It just opened up not too long ago. But if you go in there, you can actually see um, pictures of herself with her sweetheart, Mickey, uh, through the years. And you can get some, some sweets as well inspired for her friends. Cool. I want to go there so bad. Um, now, Minnie, uh, that's not the only thing she owns. Minnie literally owned her own decade. So, <laughs> reason number five, she totally owned the 80s. Who remembers that? 
who remembers that Minnie owned the yeah. 80s? Okay, right? Right? Um, she literally, you know you're an icon when they dedicate a decade to you. So Minnie really broke out of her shell in the 1980s and stepped into her rightful place in the spotlight. So Fabiola, talk to us about how in the 80s, literally Minnie was everywhere. Yeah, I mean, people wanted to wear her. They wanted her in their home decoration. They wanted her jewelry. Like, anything that had Minnie on it was cool. I mean, she was always wearing the latest fashion trends. And yeah, I just thought, like, she loved it. <laughs> yeah. She was even on TV. So Minnie had her own television special. It was in 1988. It was on NBC. Did anyone see it? Okay, yes, it starred uh, Suzanne Summers, um, Robert Carradine, that guy from Revenge of the Nerds, uh, Vanna White, Elton John, and others. It was awesome. Yeah, and then one more thing is that Disneyland actually declared the, uh, the year 1986 is a year of Minnie Mouse. So the entire year was dedicated to her, and she had parades um, and big celebrations. Uh, the picture here on the right is um, Minnie Mouse and Steamboat Willie. So she's actually the top billing, and Minnie's just kind of cheering her on, which I think is really cute. I love that. I actually love, you know the, the Phrase. I feel like growing up, I always heard the phrase, um, you know, behind every powerful man is a powerful woman. And one thing I like about Minnie is she was never behind Mickey, next to Mickey. So next to a powerful man is a powerful woman. And that's how Minnie always inspired me. And, um, you know, there she is stepping into the spotlight in her own right in the 80s. And I love that. Um, but I have to say, I, I sent Diana and Fabiola an email this week and I said, hold the phone. I said, did you guys have the Minnie CD? Because Minnie totally had her own workout. And she got in on the jazzercise and leg warmers craze. I bet you can still get that and like work out to it if you really want to. <laughs> I may or may not have tried it when I first found it this week. <laughs> Not in the 80s. <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> Somebody found that really funny. Um, maybe it was my husband, the thought of me trying this in the mirror. Um, okay, reason number four. Minnie has total star power. Now, Minnie today is the ultimate influencer. Um, and she has some pretty powerful statistics to prove it. So I'm going to read a couple for you. Um, Minnie has 5 million followers across social media. Uh, she has her own fashion campaign, Rock the Dots, each January. Um, and she has her own Instagram account, at Minnie Style. If you're not following it, go follow it now, because it's awesome. Um, and it has 258,000 followers. Uh, she regularly partners with fashion brands like Coach and Kate Spade. Uh, and let's see, oh, hashtag mini style, I love this one, has 77.5 thousand organic posts, but in comparison to hashtag Mickey style, which only has 13.2 thousand posts. So yeah, she's totally beating Mickey in the style category. <laughs> but not only is Minnie a, you know, a star in her own right, but she has a literal star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. So let's watch her Walk of Fame ceremony. Thank you for joining us to honor and celebrate the official first lady of the Walt Disney Company, the incomparable Minnie Mouse. And for all of her many accomplishments as an entertainer and a fashionista, I think what we love the most about Minnie Mouse is her ability to just make us smile. She does, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, reason number three, she's totally amused. Now, Fabiola, talk to us about this point, because what is it about Minnie Mouse that um, just inspires so many artists and creatives? She's just such an amazing personality. I love this quote right here. It's, uh, her whole image is changing. She no longer is just the polka-dotted individual that she was in the past. She can be anything that today's woman is. And yeah, she, She's very inspirational to me. Uh, she has um, inspired so much amazing art from artists all over the world. There's actually this uh, Disney edition book called The Art of Minnie. And artists from all over the world, uh, Disney artists, other artists, um, they created 
art based off of her, and there are all these styles, and it's really, really cool to look at. So if you ever get the chance to pick up that book, I you know, wholeheartedly recommend it. It also has her whole history, so every single film that she's ever been in um, and all of the stories. Mm -hmm. It's a great resource. So that's good. It's awesome. Okay, well, and there's some other Oh, yeah, there, art. there's some more art. Who created this uh, art? I don't know. Angela? I don't know. Somebody you might know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I created this art uh, a few years ago, and uh, I love how, um, you know, usually I think, like, I'm going to run out of ideas one day. Like, she has to be fresh and new every program that we make for her. And then I realize, like, she can be so many things. She can be sweet. She can be um, fashionable. She can just be classic. Like, she's adorable, like, celebrating the holidays. And um, both images on the outer sides are mine. And the middle one is by my coworker, Dave Holbrook. And yeah, it's just, it never runs out. Like, she has just so many sides to her. So I, I just have a blast, you know? I have a blast drawing her. The art's amazing. All right, reason number two. She is a total heartbreaker. Now, what is it about Minnie that, you know, Mickey and, and who, Mortimer? Mortimer just go crazy. Oh yeah, Mortimer, there was that guy. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be actually another mouse that vied for her heart, and his name was Mortimer. But you know, he was like a total jerk. So <laughs> she ended up finding somebody who treated her right and who had a really good heart. And we all know that the love of her life is Mickey Mouse. Cool. And uh, I actually really like Mortimer uh, because I know that he's kind of a jerk, but um, he kind of shows us how great Mickey Mouse is and what a nice mouse Mickey Mouse is. Um, and not only that, it shows us that Minnie Mouse has options. So she's like not forced to be with Minnie Mouse. <laughs> um, it, you know, it's voluntary and it's funny for her, you know? So that makes it even better. Well, reason number one that we totally love Minnie is because she's totally Minnie. Now, you know you're an icon when you can go by a single name and everyone knows who you're talking about. So, Fabiola, Diana, final thoughts. What makes Minnie totally Minnie? For me, Minnie is just all heart. She goes after all her dreams and there's nothing she can't do. So. I don't know, every time I see her, I'm just like filled with joy. And I think that's what makes her so special to me. Cool, so before this panel, I thought that Minnie was really sweet and nice and I liked her a lot. Um, but I'm so happy that we got a chance to learn more about her because I see her in a totally different light now. And uh, I hope you guys do too. Um, to me, uh, sometimes you know we're in meetings and we talk about Mickey Mouse. And someone always says, hey, don't forget about Minnie, or uh, what about Minnie, you know? And I think that's something that I'm never going to do again because she's on my mind. So I'm never going to forget about Minnie uh, or just think that she's in the shadow of Mickey anymore. And to me, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Minnie, to me, equals confidence. So I often say, you know, people say, well, what, what fashion advice do you have? And I say, well, Confidence is your best accessory. You can wear any outfit as long as you have confidence. And I feel like Minnie is a true style star, not because of the dresses she wears or the, you know, the ears she wears, it's because, uh, or the bows she wears, it's because of her confidence. Uh, and I love that. You can pull it off. Yep. Yeah. Now, in a true Disney form, uh, we have a kiss goodnight. And we found this video clip and we thought it was totally Minnie. So let's take a look. Did we do it? Did we? Oh, wait. Oh, my oh. gosh. Wow. Very special Deep here. Ah, please give a huge round of applause to Minnie Mouse. Woo! Now, Minnie, here, come center stage. Um, let's, let's put down the music for a second.
moment. Um, what do you guys think? I think we proved that Minnie Mouse is way more than a five minute fashion show, right? <laughs> All right, well, um, let's have one final photo up, but I think we need to give Minnie Mouse the standing ovation she deserves for 90 years. One photo here. All right, thank you guys so much, and enjoy the rest of Destination D. Thank you so much, Minnie.